This is a Qigong practice for the fire element and the season of summer. We'll begin by resting the hands one over the other onto the lower Dantian, feet shoulders distance apart. Take a few moments to breathe and sense the breath rising and falling from beneath the hands. Then we'll begin with a practice called parting clouds. Arms lift out to the sides. Then the hands begin to draw in and the fingers roll in. The hands extend forward from the center of the chest and open to the side and and they release back down. And this repeats, you inhale and lift the arms to the level of the shoulders. You exhale and draw the hands in, rolling the fingers in. Then in front of the chest, the metaphorical sun of your body, the heart, open out the hands and then exhale and release them down. We'll continue like that, opening as you breathe in and drawing the hands in towards the center of the chest. The heart is like the sun of the body and you separate out or part the clouds from in front of the chest, in front of the heart, open to the side and release down. This is a wonderful practice for the heart and the season of summer. In summer, the heart or the sun of the body likes to shine brightly. And this helps to part the clouds that may hover around the sun of the heart and allow a sense of that radiant warmth to shine and extend across the sky of our body. It generates a sense of openness, receptivity, warmth, generosity. Finishing as you breathe in, your arms will come out to the sides, exhaling to release them down. And we'll go right into our next form, which is called separating clouds. You inhale and cross the arms, lift them all the way overhead. Exhale, float the arms and hands out and down to the sides. Knees bend a bit. Repeat, inhale, the arms cross. Let them cross without the skin touching. Exhale, bend the knees a bit as the palms turn out, fingertips up, and release to the sides. Continue just like that, like you're removing a t-shirt as the arms rise up. And separating clouds, in Chinese, lun bi, fin lun. Separating clouds, a bit like parting clouds, where we take the hands and use them to move clouds, moving them away from the two sides overhead, creating a softness and fluidity that's letting in the light of the sun. By separating clouds, we're also inviting ourselves, our spirit, to rise up to the atmosphere. This can help us feel spacious, light, and free. These are all qualities associated with summer and the heart, spaciousness, a lightness, and freedom. The form is also part of the Tai Chi Qigong 18 forms, or Shi Ba Shi, It also goes by the more generic name of cross hands from Tai Chi Quan and Qigong. It's very beneficial to the heart and the lungs, supporting our circulatory and respiratory systems. And it also opens the shoulders and refreshes the mind by increasing the flow of oxygen through the brain. As you do this, imagine your hands themselves become like clouds, pillowy and soft. Finish this with an out breath, releasing the arms back down to the side. Begin to release and bring the feet together with the heels touching and the toes turned out in preparation for crane flying. Touch all five fingertips together at the thumbs. Inhale, bend your knees and extend the hands out to the sides. Exhale, straightening the legs as the arms and hands float back down like the wings of a crane. Inhale, knees bend, curl the fingertips in towards the wrists, and then exhale, release the hands down. You're making what's called crane beak here with your hands, fingers curling towards the wrists, very therapeutic for the wrists. And as you bend the knees, also keep the tailbone drawing down. And as you lift up, the crown of the head rises up. 
So this practice develops poise and grace, dignity, a sense of harmony as well. In Chinese culture, cranes relate to the sense of harmony, also longevity, uh, gr- uh, graciousness, or a sense of poise. Remember to touch the fingertips to the thumbs as you breathe in. This is very good for the heart meridians, the fire meridians, which run through the hands, the arms, but also the metal meridians for the lungs and the large intestine. As I mentioned, therapeutic for the wrists as they help with desk work, computer work, things that tax the wrists, things like carpal tunnel, and repetitive stress. So very good for uh, exercising and moving the wrist joints. Then we'll begin to bend the knees for the next practice of crane. Cross the arms. Lift the arms overhead and to the sides. Simultaneously lift your left leg. I'm mirroring you here. Then cross the arms and change sides. Balancing on your left while you lift the right leg arms to the sides. Repeat. Inhale and open. Arms to the sides, leg lifts up. Finding balance, exhale, then foot down, cross the arms, lifting out to the sides. We're going to continue with this form, which has a great name. It's called Red-Headed Crane Delights in Seeing Its Mate. It's a great practice to celebrate the quality of love, the quality of of joy when you see something that you know you're going to be with or someone that you know you're going to be with for life. The sense of joy, the sense of uh, connection, all related to the element of fire and love and warmth. Um, This is also a very good practice for balance, which for me is always challenging. Uh, I have flat feet, but also tinnitus or tinnitus, depending on if you're pronouncing it with the British or American accent. And uh, balance is really hard for me. But these practices are very, very good for helping my balance and helping me maintain a sense of uh, alignment, strength, focus. So finish up. And take the leg up, the arms to the sides, and then releasing and stepping the feet out, releasing the arms down, observing how that feels. And then we'll start the next practice called lifting ball. So the left hand crosses and lifts up, and then you change and you bring your left hand behind the back the right palm out to the side, opposite heel of the foot lifts. We repeat this and continue lifting ball as though you could lift a ball in your hand. Let the ball be light but playful. The back hand goes to the lower back around the kidneys. This practice is really good for lifting the spirits. It kindles a sense of playfulness and what we might have felt when we were kids and we got a ball and we wanted to show it off or play with it a little bit. It's also very good for the rotation through the back and that alternating movement of the arms creates a lightness, a fluidity, and ease. All these qualities relate to summer, lightness, ease, playfulness, and I'm thinking about summertime fun and the qualities of what you can you know, use in your life or manifest in your day to support this. And this practice of lifting ball is also from the 18 forms of Tai Chi Qigong, Shi Ba Shi. We'll finish that, exhaling the arms down. And cultivating a little bit of chi between your hands. So what I'm doing is closing my hands a little closer together and then inhaling and expanding the space between them. Exhaling, drawing them in. This is a form of cultivating a little bit of chi in front of the dantian, the lower dantian. 
cultivating this with the hands. We'll do the same for the middle Dantian around the chest. The hands come in, exhaling. They draw apart, inhaling. Cultivating a little bit of chi, good energy for the lower and middle Dantians. And we're going to take this into a practice. It's one of my favorites for summer. It's called hands to heart. And as you breathe in, let the arms expand out, the hands expand out to the two directions, gathering what nourishes the heart, what supports and feeds the quality of the heart's content, tranquility, calm. The chin bows down as the two hands, one over the other, rest onto the center of the chest. This is the energetic heart center. We'll then repeat this and open the arms, open to receive and giving to your own heart the quality of love, kindness, warmth, generosity, lowering the chin as the hands rest one over the other onto the center of the chest. We'll do a final round, gathering all that the heart might use as support to do its function of circulating blood, pumping blood, but also giving you the access to a sincere quality of care, compassion, love. Let these qualities move down to take root in your belly, centering and steadying. And then release the hands and begin to gather all those qualities you've just given to your heart. Maybe just the support or some space, some love, some care, some generosity. Fill those in. Fill them into the form of the body and simultaneously clear out what may, might burden the heart. Worry, anxiety, overstimulation, excess, maybe crowding of the heart. The heart loves to have space. Then finish and rest the hands back onto the lower Dantian. Taking a few moments to breathe and anchor these qualities of fire, qualities of the heart, feeling nourished and full, radiant and warm like the sun. And this completes the practice of Qigong for the fire element and the season of summer.